Hey guys, it's the Viatross, and you may have already noticed I got a bit sunburnt, just like on the top of my head. And I didn't want to delay this video because of that, but I do have a solution to cover it. I have a bandana that hopefully will make it a little less um, visually unappealing, I think is a, is a polite way to phrase it. You're just going with the bandana for now, so you don't have to like look at burnt skin throughout the entire gameplay. I'm a huge fan of the Persona series, and if you couldn't tell from me playing Persona for Golden in real time, which took 347 days, then I don't know what to make it, what to do to make it more clear. But because of that, I'm really excited for the new game from the creators of Persona 3, 4, and 5, Metaphor of Refantasio. And it's a game that I'm really looking forward to, but I like to go into stuff blind, so I don't really know anything about it. And if I mispronounce it, which I feel like there's a fair chance that I did. That's part of why. But I'm really excited to play the game, and so when I heard that they released a demo that's a prologue to the game, I was definitely glad to hear about that and be able to kind of get some more experience with the game before the full release, which is only like 10 days away from today. But without further ado, let's go ahead, get into it, and see how the game is. I'm going to be playing with keyboard and mouse and see how that goes. If it becomes a little bit inconvenient, we'll switch over to Series X controller. But let's go ahead and give it a shot. And honestly, I don't really know what the gameplay is like. Like, that's kind of how blind I, I am to the game. So let's do a new game. Who's there? I can feel you watching me from a place beyond my sight. Whoever you are, please tell me. Does our world pique your interest? Pardon my curiosity. But would you tell me your name? That is to say, tell me who you really are. The One who meets my eyes across a strange threshold. Okay, I typically just go with the, like, whatever the canon protagonist's name is. This one, I don't know if there has been one established yet. I know in the Persona games, I think it mostly only gets revealed when they make the manga or anime adaptation. I think... I doubt Leviatross is going to fit. Oh wow, it does. I think we'll go Levi for short. And I think that feels a bit more thematic. Rather than like... I don't know if we play as like a high school student in this one. But like, if you went to high school and people called you Leviatross, I feel like that'd be a little immersion breaking. So let's go with Levi. Oh, I'll name... Oh wait, this is my name? And then the protagonist gets named later? I guess in that case we'll do Leviatross, and then we'll probably end up naming the protagonist... Levi. Ah, a most unusual name. That's fair. One I've never heard in our world. Oh, I guess I'm not famous there yet. You might reside in a world beyond ours. It is a curious thing that in your eyes, my entire world is but the dawn of a story yet untold. Or to put it another way, this is a fantasy. But can it truly be dismissed as something so far removed from you? If indeed you wish to cross to our world for a time, I would first ask that you indulge one question. I already this answered what my name is. Fantasy is to the confines of imagination. Would you call it a powerless creation? Let's say not always. More than wishful thinking. More than fiction. Something capable of affecting the realities beyond its bounds. This must be what you believe. I confess my own answer still eludes me. But consider, if fantasy is born from hope, a desire to make the world better than it is, then that hope can be made manifest. Thus does change come, and thus is fantasy forged into a new reality. Perhaps the story about to unfold before you will tell us. I'm thoroughly invested now myself. So, let this tale begin. All right, I think pretty safe. We're gonna go with normal. I can typically handle that. So let's go with normal. And yes, I believe I'm ready.
Looks like we're in the clear. The capital's just through this desert. Is it true, then? The king is dead? Aye, and the guards are more concerned with the funeral than keeping the roads safe. So now the monsters are roaming in broad daylight. No soldiers to stop them. Monsters, huh? I've certainly been hearing the stories. <laughs> to say nothing of the vacant throne. There's a storm coming. Mark my words. That much is certain. What's the problem? They're bandits! Come on, let's see some respect for the militia! Us folk, we're commoners! No crown or church will save us! But Lord Luis will save us one and all. All we ask is no tribute. You're with us or against us? And if you're against us... An igniter? Ugh. How'd they get rid of those? Come on, come on! Hey, keep it moving! Up. That's right! He's an elder! So he is. No horns, no knife ears. Filthy gremlin like you. What you got in the capital? <laughs> oh, what's this? Looks like you've been holding out on us, boy. <laughs> yeah, he's about to take my diary from me. Should have listened to us, chum. <laughs> now fall in line. Let's want to get stuck like us. You drew steel. I take it you are prepared to die by it. Stand us high. <laughs> Okay, that was pretty quick, but you know, uh, I guess they didn't want to make a super long game like Persona again. Oh, we're still alive. Ah, oh, this place already feels like a death trap. You hear all that stuff about Lord Luis saving us? Hey, you okay? You still got all your limbs attached? Well, at least they didn't figure out our mission. Definitely could have gone worse. I I feel like we should know what our mission is, but let's go ahead and ask about it just so we can kind of know as an audience. What mission? Come on! This is no time for jokes. You do know that if anyone finds out who we really are, it's all over, right? The mission's more important than either of our lives. If we screw this up, there's no going back. He's like, yeah, I knew that. Yeah. That, you know, that's my classic type of joke, is to act like I don't know what's going on. Think we'll make it? You don't look hurt, though, so that's good news. You can move, right? Oh, dang it. It advanced already. Use the movement keys to move. Hold shift while moving to dash. Press control to dodge enemy attacks. Some actions you can perform and their corresponding controls are displayed at the bottom of the screen. You can also use the mini-map to see which way to go. You can view tutorials you've seen before in the main menu. Let's go. Wait, I'm sensing something close. Don't move. Okay, first encounter. Watch out! Yeah, those look especially dangerous, so watch out. I don't think they've noticed us yet, though. Face sight. Press G to use face sight. This ability lets you see what Gallicus senses in the environment. Real fast, I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to a Series X controller. Because already this movement that's like in a 360 plane. Oh, hey, Moy. Yeah, I can't wait for this to drop. Yeah, I've been well. And uh, yeah, game of the year. With the personas of 3, 4, and 5 behind this, I can definitely see that being a potential thing, but really excited to try it out before the full release. So we got Face Sight, that is left trigger. When you see an enemy, be, 
that you've never encountered before, it will show up as unknown. Prepare her as best as you can. Okay. Okay, so there's an unknown Yikes. sandworm I down. Think we're able Real fast, let me adjust the settings. Alright. Okay, I feel like this is a little bit smoother. Let's go ahead. Oh, okay. I thought I was... Oh. Come on. I thought it was going to be like Persona 3, where you hit an enemy and then it initiates combat. Alright. I'm getting the feeling I maybe wasn't supposed to fight them yet. I'm just kind of like so, supposed to avoid them. Fantasy is only fiction, is it? Alright, let's try that again. Okay. Avoid the enemies ahead for the high ground. Just follow that cliff on your right. Yikes. It's pretty good advice uh, right in retrospect. Watch out. Okay. Looks like this is the cliff he was Whoa. mentioning. Looks like they found us. Oh, okay. I was Someone like, I think we're fine. We like we can outrun the worms pretty decently. I didn't know they had Looks like a like mentor over there. What a relief. Look. I feel like the the game is still running a bit like iffy like the frame rate's not super consistent if you're seeing that on the stream that's not just a stream issue that is just kind checking, of like how it's running you do remember what we're here to do right uh totally okay let's refresh my memory right <laughs> what am i doing again oh i don't know the mission that's more important than our own lives first we get to the royal capital and get you enlisted as a guardsman at the army's recruitment center this could decide the fate of the whole country we either do our jobs, or we die. And if it's all the same to you, I'd rather stay alive. So we've got to see this mission through. Come on. We don't want the sun to go down on us in the wastes. Let's pull ourselves together and get back on the road. You know what they say. Anxiety breeds the world's cruelest monsters. I mean, fairies say that at least. I can at least cast my usual spell for you. She's like, I say it's that the at small least. comforts, right? I think we're already at full health, but no. It's as though music is playing directly in my mind. The effect of Gallica's magic is inspiring. Music was the first magic this world ever knew, after all. Makes the world a little easier. Huh. Okay. Look! Over there! That's a road, isn't it? What a relief. Grand Trad is already in sight. Let's go. Almost there. Let's keep moving and try to stay out of sight. Is that a set? I think that's the Grand Cathedral over there. Over there, it's big enough to use as a landmark. They look pretty tough. Careful now. Oh, okay. It said level like question marks. I thought it said level 22. I was like, yeah, I don't think I can handle that right now. But whatever level it is, I don't think I can handle it anyway. Alright, so I assume there's combat in this game. Sounds like we're not exactly prepared for it, though. Uh-oh, this is bad. This land of eight tribes and three nations, all blessed by the power of magic. The United Kingdom of Euchronia. The year is 785. Euchronia is shaken to the core by the sudden death of its king. Anxiety breeds dissent among the tribes. Disparities tear them apart, and no mortal mind remembers the heroic tales upon which their land was built. world be painted anew. O oh, great seeker, bearer of fantasy and power. Hear my wish and come forth from thy epoch of glory to grant me thy guidance.
to be honest, I had no idea how much text there was actually going to be, since I couldn't read any of that. Whoa, just look! Whoa. You will hang by the neck until dead. I feel like we got to town at a bad time. There's no way that crowd was going to listen to anything a Paribus said. <sighs> Such a shame. By you, special coin. Bless you. Oh, can't worry. <laughs> Uh, don't you have any street smarts? Come on, kid. <gasps> Look, we're not tourists here. We've got to stay focused. Right. You oh, okay. I thought he was going to be like a complete you setup protagonist. Over here, in the whole city, even. All the different tribes you never see this kind of diversity out in the countryside not that it's very balanced i see more from mars and lusants than anyone else which means um. the dopey elder kid's gonna stick out like a sore thumb try to keep your head down okay i'm glad it's voiced because there's no way i would have pronounced this like those race names talk. correctly i heard it was foul play assassination Shh. careful who hears you say that but it's just like the prince, isn't it? They say he was attacked in the dead of night. A war of succession is coming, I tell you. Sounds like monsters have been prowling the countryside. They're sending the guard out to deal with them. The army's really gone to hell. It's a far cry from when we had Count Luis at the helm, I'll tell you that much. Hard to see how the nation can come back from this. We'd not have to ask if the prince was still alive. <sighs> Are they both just vaping? The king dead, his son stricken. Are there none left to bear the weight of the crown? We've done all in our power, but not even the kingdom's best, the saint, could purify this affliction. Over 10 years he has languished under this curse. How much longer can his body hold out? No doubt his highness would protest, but uh, since he cannot, we have no choice. For the man who cursed his highness and murdered our king, there can be no mercy. I never thought I would have to ask this of you. But there are so few of us left now. There is no one else to turn to. Will you infiltrate the military to deliver a message to our contact there? This is your mission. For all our sakes, you cannot fail. All right, we're starting to get some important context. Hey, are you listening? Well, yeah, I've just been zoned out in the middle of the sidewalk for like 30 seconds. You and the prince were pretty close. Anyway, getting to the capital was only the beginning. Now comes the real high stakes part. You gotta go get enlisted so you can meet up with our operative. Remember, nobody here knows who we are. Nobody here knows the prince might still have a claim to the throne. That means if we get busted, that's it. Nobody's gonna save us. Step one, let's figure out where the recruitment center is. Shouldn't be too hard, considering the need for soldiers. So? Do you know where we're going? Feel free to admit that you're, that you're lost to ask me for advice. What's to know in town? Press right bumper to open the local map. If you're unsure of what to do, try pressing Y. Galica always has good ideas, or so she thinks. 
Press up on the D-pad in safe areas like towns to save the progress. Whatever will I do? All right, let's go ahead and save. You know, I don't want to lose my precious progress of walking up a hill. Okay, so looking on the map, it looks like we just have to go pretty much straight north and we'll be fine. Let's go ahead and talk to some people. Shady woman, she seems trustworthy. Okay, not very talkative. See what she's got to say. So you. An elder, huh? Pretty unusual in these parts. Say, oh, oh, not trying to be rude. Just mind yourself. This city ain't the friendliest to us inferiors. Say, you know, we'll dig a little deeper, try to get to know her, and say, does that bother you? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Purpose tribe or not, I can knock those fools six ways from Idol's Day. See what they're Simply saying. Amazing. Look over there, you can see the royal palace. No, wait, that's not right. That's where the Grand Cathedral is. At least I assume so, since it's off the main street. And what is it? Seems to me, sanctism is the really privileged thing around here, even more so than the monarchy. Hmm. Alright, let's do a little more eavesdropping and then we'll continue <laughs> heading towards the recruitment center. Imbecile of a driver, how long will this take? Can't help but notice we passed the recruitment center back there. I bet I could register for the army faster than this carriage can exit the city, so hurry it up before I put a bounty on your horse's head. If I may. Now, sir, please have patience. With the royal funeral approaching, foot traffic is at an all-time high. Okay, so he passed by, so it sounds like the recruitment center is back this way. But that's not where the mini-map is pointing oh, me. Off it. Ah, it's an Elda. An Elda. Say, oh, why is one of your kind here in Grand Trat? Say, I have business here. Silence. Sanctism teaches us that the Elda are an evil tribe that defy the teachings. So get back. Stay away from me, you fiend. <laughs> Devilish magic, she says. If you were so magical, I doubt you'd have it so hard in life. She's aggravating, but let's not cause a scene. How... I'm confused, because I thought I was, like, an Elda was just, like, a standard human. But she looks pretty normal, but is, like, talking down to me. I don't know if that's just her hair or if she has, like, horns on the sides, but... I'm sure we'll learn more soon enough. Let's go ahead and check the map. Okay. So we're on San Lameo Street. I don't know if this yellow objective is, like, our waypoint that we need to go to it looks like this is the like current objective but we're closer to this so let's go ahead we'll check it out see what it is and then may have to just turn around immediately let's see what this guy's got to say oh my. What what to do? you walked all the way here don't tell me you ran into some trouble huh oh hold on probably kicked out the carriage were you my sympathies that's being yelled at for you i suppose oh i mean at least we got his sympathies all right then Okay, not sure what that yellow Wait. pin meant. Are you sure you want to go back to the desert? It's dangerous outside the city. It's away from the recruitment center where we're supposed to be going. Oh Alright, let's go ahead, head north, and follow the map this time. I'm still confused why the ca carriage driver is like, Oh, we passed the recruitment center back there when we're facing the way that it seems like we're supposed to be going. But it was generous of that impatient customer to be like, Oh, you don't know where we're going. We passed that recruitment center back there. Look at that. The new model's out now. That screen, I thought it was like combat encounter. I'm like, okay, I don't want to fight this guy. I'd be out there slinging spells like a master if I had one of those. I guess that's the big city for you. I guess Every magic would, magic I guess matter. music was the first magic and the so second is jewelry. Types too. Let's say Yeah, let's ask what a magic igniter is. What's a magic igniter? See, there's a couple in the window. Like an instrument plays a tune, an igniter casts magic. Pretty hard to come by out in the countryside. I can't imagine what it's like having to wave around some shiny stick to use magic. Me? I can whip out magic anytime I like. Maybe and don't phrase I can even it that see the magla way. in the air. Though, I'm not exactly an archmage. Wonders never cease. A fairy and an elden child. 
Are you new to our fair city? I mean, we literally well, tried talking to you like you five minutes ago, far. and you had nothing to say. Trust me when I say, we don't want to catch the eyes of the lords and ladies. Ah, but I'm getting ahead of myself. I run this humble shop. I like how she's like, oh, I own this humble shop, and then dresses like that. Here's something that might catch a foreigner's eye. This is modeled after the royal scepter and would make the perfect souvenir. Yeah, I'm. However much it costs, I'm sure you don't have enough money. Let's go ahead and ask about the royal uh, scepter. The royal scepter? You've really never heard of it. Wow. Where do I even start? I feel like Galica is just uh, really second guessing her entire instrument of commitment the to this mission. Sovereignty. Passed down through generations. If you believe the legends, it houses incredible magic. World shattering power. More practically, you might call it the world's most potent magic igniter. And in the king's hands, it was enough of a deterrent to stave off invasion. Now he's dead, with no living heir either. Tragic, isn't it? Kingly magic is of little use without a king. You picked a bad time to visit, boy. Yeah, we showed Don't up and we saw fear, a guy get hanged immediately. There's trouble brewing. Let's say I won't be staying long. Oh, I don't think I'll be here long. A word of caution, then. Your survival is your own responsibility. Well, that was unnecessarily ominous. She has a point, though. We need to be careful. Anyway, we don't have time to hang around chatting with the locals. We've got a recruitment office to find. All right, the hunt to get recruited continues. Let's head there. All right, let's see what this guard has to say. I joined the army because I looked up to Lord Louis, but now I get my A handed to me as if I so much if I so much as mention it. What's the state army gonna do now? We won't find any decent recruits given the messy state of things currently. Let's get this guy got anything helpful to say? Oh, the recruitment place? Go down the street towards the cathedral and leave that building on the left. Okay, that was actually pretty useful advice. Look into a list as a soldier? Hmm. Not like there's other work for elders, I guess. Oh, you think you're better off than the grime of Sunshade Row you crawled out of? You're in for a rude awakening, boy. Okay, you kind of turned on us pretty quickly. But, I mean, we did say, like, don't make assumptions. After he was actually pretty helpful. Alright, looks like we made it to the Grand Cathedral. I was hoping that we'd blend in with the crowd and no one would notice that you're an Elda, but the people here have sharper eyes than I thought. You don't want to draw attention, but hiding your tribe is only going to make it worse. People may insult you, but do your best to stand tall. All right. Easier said than done, I'm sure, but it's for the sake of the mission. And on that note, the recruitment center we're looking for should be just ahead. Really <sighs> now? Huh? Recruitment center? What, you want to enlist or something? Just down this throat, if that's the case. But an elder enlisting? Bloody hell. What will be next? Wouldn't be in such a hurry state. Wouldn't be in such a sorry state if Louise was in power. The mouth on this guy. If we weren't focused on saving the prince, I'd give him a piece of my mind. But let's just grin and bear it. Hmm. Is this a bucket on his head? You the Oh, okay. It's, it's got holes at least. Young man, might I interest you in our shop's wares? This is no ordinary Mastari shop. Hey, sorry. Oh, uh, we're actually in the middle of something. We've got something to do at the recruitment center. The recruitment center? If you're lost, it's the large building down the street and to the left. Stop by when you have time. Bye -bye, no. I do business here all the time, so if you're in the area, do stop by. Huh. I mean, it's going to be hard to... It, I'm out of ideas. It'll be very easy to recognize them if we do decide to come back. Hmm. Unless you taste the mask off, then I'm like, completely lost. It looks like this is it. That must be the recruitment center. I'll let you take it from here. It should be pretty straightforward. Oh, and if they start asking questions, just be as honest as you can. Lying will only make us more suspicious. So long as you don't compromise the mission, you're fine. Good luck in there. Nothing good. 
oh, when she was like, I'll let you take it from here, I was like, well, yeah, I'm like kind of just walking. Okay, you got this. <laughs> A blue blood, are you? The army's no place for velvet swaddled blood. Oh, I thought he was talking to me. Why I was like, through that wall. Perhaps your noble family collapsed under its own weight. Is that it? Lineage seems a strange measure for a soldier's work. I'm looking to enlist. Is that enough for you or not? An uppity one, aren't you? Fine, Lordling. Welcome to the Guard. Where it'll be your privilege to die screaming and bloody in service of your country. But mark my words, war will turn your arrogance to piss. When your corpse is plucked from the mud, do try to look patriotic. Rousing words, Captain. You think threats will buy loyalty? No wonder nobody respects the guard anymore. But I'm here now, so perhaps the kingdom isn't a lost cause. Insolent pup! You will learn your place. Don't. The healers have enough on their plates already. <sighs> be gone, and be thankful you're still in one piece. All right, next. Hurry it up. Huh, an elder? I thought your kind was long gone. Age 18. An orphan, too. The army can always use more of those. So, what brings you to enlist? Let's say... Well, I mean, it sounds like we have to get recruited as part of the mission. If we don't, then we're kind of in trouble. Let's go and say, I want to fight for a change. I want to fight for real change. Lofty words for a gutter rat with an empty coin purse, no? So, what can you bring to our beloved core? Any skills to speak of? Let's say... I can take a lot of punishment kind of sounds like what he would expect us to say. Or kind of like the most... the thing that he's most willing to accept. But let's say I've got... We'll say I've got a sharp mind. I've got a sharp mind. I feel like he's gonna doubt us, yes, but we'll give it a shot. Every unschooled troglodyte. Called it. Right, last order of business. Make your mark or sign your name if you're actually literate. So is this when we name our protagonist? Alright, let's go with Levi. I don't know of anything better than that, and I don't know what the canonical name is for the protagonist, so we'll stick with it. Levi it is. You know your letters, do you? We'll get some use out of you yet. All right, lad. Welcome to the guard. I slide it over. Everything's completely I'm misspelled. I'm sure you've heard about the monster sighting, so stay sharp out there. We're short-handed as it is, so be a good lad and try not to get killed on your first deployment. You can pick up your kit at reception. Standard issue guards and armor and igniter. Kingdom property. So if you break it, oh, it's everyone gets out of your commission. Ignited? On your way now. Up to next. All right, going well so far. What a long line. Guess we've got no choice but to wait our turn. All right. Let's see Whatever. if there's any. Anyone will be nice to us while we're waiting. You're so young. Are you enlisting too? Well, not much choice if you don't have money or a job. Grief makes the world go round, as it were. You want a magic igniter? Join the queue. Petting's only gonna get you chewed out. Oh, this guy. You enlisting as well? The line starts behind me, if so. Or was there something you needed? You know, we'll ask, figure out if he's actually noble rather than just say nothing. I take you overheard my interview? Yes, guilty as charged. I am a noble, but just a countryside son of a lord. My family is of no real consequence. Well, Let's just say I have my own circumstances. I'm volunteering to fight in order to protect the king kingdom. Foolish or not. Blasting. I came to enlist because I heard you can make a quick reef here, but they really make you work alongside creepy Elda? Okay, self-assured man. I thought it was going to be a little kinder than just like immediately insulting me for being an Elda. A therapist I can deal with. The Elder are right ominous. 
We'll ask where you heard that. <laughs> God's own scriptures, there's where. There's where? Guess you can ex can't expect an elder to know S. Let him say what he wants. Fighting someone like him would just be a waste of energy. Okay, is this guy gonna be nicer? They said tribe don't matter in the army, but they'll probably hit me up front as a meat shield. Not that I can find better work. Wish I could serve Count Louise. His army is built on merit, so even a parapet stands a chance. Look at that. There sure are a lot of wanted posters. This is no time for gawking. We have to get in line. I mean, I did stand near the back, and I... Oh, I see. We have to interact right in this specific area to join the queue. Looks like a quite a bit of time's passed. I heard they get sightings. What? Of those huge monsters? You think that's why we're low on soldiers? Wish they'd have told us that. What do they call them? Something like um hum Next Another Clamar. Wait. No. You don't look like the others. Surely not. An elder? It's the first of your kind I've seen. Move it. There's a priority around here. We're arming squires and children with igniters now. A waste of good gear. It's better off in my hands. Give it here. Brute force. Is he wanting to fight with two igniters? The world is yours for the taking. Care to say that again, boy? We all have our reasons to enlist. Now get back in line. Oh, another high and mighty Clamar, is it? You think your pretty words will measure up to pure resort strength? I mean, he oh, actually has a sword. The tribes. This is a matter of pride. Now, you owe us both an apology. Come on, no fighting in the ranks. I just feel bad Sorry, for everyone for in line scene. behind that guy that You're is just right? like, I just want to get my igniter and get out of here. Let's say, you know, we'll be nice. We'll say thanks. Thanks. You didn't have to do that. Just felt like stepping in. Don't worry about it. Well, see you around. Try not to die out there. Don't make my job any harder, please. Here, your igniter. Okay. These yeah, days, most ignited. come with their own magma crystals. So with practice, anyone can use magic. To an extent, anyway. It's not the sort of thing you can master in a day. For now, newbies like you best focus on surviving. <sighs> the thing round his neck is apparently a magic igniter. The captain I spoke with earlier had one too. They must take on many different forms, like I saw in the main street. Mm. And take this too. Protect it with your life. I get the standard issue cinder igniter, and it's just a big lighter. Royal Capital Vicinity Map. Wow, that's a real map. It's dangerous to even chart the wilds, but this is full of details. Only the military could pull this together. Listen up, striplings. My name is Captain Klinger. And as of this moment, you miserable lot are under my command. I'm sure you've all heard about our forces being tied up with the funeral proceedings for His Majesty. But if you think you're on cushy security detail, think again. First, you will be deployed to a fortress at the northern border, where you will be trained into true guards. Our veterans there will teach you the one thing you need to master if you're to survive. Pay. Perfect. That's exactly where our contacts hold up. Enjoy tonight's sleep. Because it's the last full night's rest you'll get. This rest! Look at all the other recruits. They really are desperate for new blood. No, the other I, guys are like, we can I hear you, you know. Now. What our contact looks like yet. But he'll know you by your sword. He'll also know right away why we've come. And don't worry, I'll recognize him. Well, the charming captain is probably right. We should get some rest before tomorrow. Mm, um, hey, you awake? It's like we should probably get some rest. You awake? Let's say. We'll say nope, I'm asleep. Nope, I'm asleep. Good night. Haha, ha. very funny. 
Look, I just... have a lot on my mind. Can't seem to fall asleep. I'd heard about what it was like in the capital, but still... I mean, maybe you've hit the candle out? see all this prejudice out in the open? It's a lot. You okay? Let's say that's just how it is. That's just how it is. Well, I don't think that should be how it is. Some people are even saying it's the lesser tribe's fault that the monsters are showing up at all. These are the same kind of people who burned down your village, remember? Let's say that was a long time ago. That was a long time ago. Yeah, but still, the prince was kind to take you in. He cared more about who you were than what you were. I can see why you'd want to repay him. Oh, speaking of, he's the one who gave you that book, right? Can I see it? I do want to learn more about what the book is. I still feel like it might be our diary, so let's go ahead and say sure. Sure, I guess. I gotta say, I've been curious. I'm also surprised we're Thanks. going to bed with that entire coat on. It's what you call a fantasy story, right? So it's a fantasy world made up by the author. The prince loved those kinds of stories. Okay, let's see. It says the young traveler was amazed by the world he saw. In this world, there is only one tribe. All people accept each other, and no soul is born into discrimination. Wow. So not even any fairies? I guess less differences means less to argue over. In such a world, there is no need for sorcery. A megapolis is built through learning and labor. Towers of glass that reach the heavens. Safe nights with no dark shadows. Busy streets well traveled. And in the laws of these emotionally satisfied people, it reads, all lives are equal. Wow. You see, no magic, no tribal conflict, and equality for all? It really does sound like a fantasy. But it's strange to feel envious of a fictional world. Hey, are you asleep already? You know how hard it is for me to turn these pages on my own? Ugh. <sighs> well. Guess I'll just read more later. Good night. Yeah, I'm starting to get it. That the fantasy world is our world. Yep, let's go ahead and save. Still alone at this point, we're only level one, but I mean, we haven't seen any actual combat yet. Shouldn't you be resting? I'm fine. In fact, I'm glad we have this chance to talk. I've been reading, and I hope that someday we can make our kingdom like the place in this book. You said it was some kind of fantasy novel, didn't you? Hmm. Our lives are decided at birth, by tribal purity, or by the differences that make us who we are. I don't want that to be the world we live in. The Elder here are a perfect example. If you'd not sheltered me, I would never have survived. And yet, they burned your home down. So yeah, thanks for reminding it's me. It's tragic, and no one should have to suffer so. Someone needs to fix it. <coughs> you okay? <coughs> Don't push yourself so hard. Reality is much too cruel. I know that. But I'll fight it. I'll fight to the end. I'm a prince. But I need to be a hero. One worthy of the throne. A hero? One who can lead. A beacon who will pierce the darkness when all seems lost. My father taught me that. In his stories, the kingdom was full of legendary heroes. So I can't give up. In my ideal world, people can believe in their future. Their birth doesn't matter. Not that I expect it will be easy. I believe in you. <laughs> Familiar words. When I'm down, when I struggle, you're always there to help me through it. <sighs> Let's do it. You'll be a hero. Trust me.
I won't give up either. Trust me. Until arrival at the northern border fort, one day remains. Let's see. I wonder how far we've come. Let's find our destination, the northern border fort. You can view information about your surroundings in the world map. Use the movement keys to highlight the location you want to learn about, then press A. This hey, don't forget! The northern border fort, which this is where our contact should be, so hopefully we can find them quickly. Let's say, got it. Okay then. All we can do for now is rest. We have a big day tomorrow. Okay, pretty insightful. The carriage transporting the new recruits arrives at its destination. The northern border fort. The towering fortress was built during the Annex War, in the mountains at the edge of the territory. Even now, soldiers are sent there for its strategic importance to the royal capital, and to combat the rising waves of monsters. Fresh-faced soldiers disembark from their coaches at the foot of a steep ascent to the fort, the first of many uphill battles. Okay, it doesn't sound like the most relaxing place to visit. Hardly feel my legs. Listen well, you lackwits. The battlefield is no place to sit on your asses, and the border front is always a battlefield. The call to arms could sound at any time. Stand to, curs. You have the honor to serve at the command of Captain Klinger, war hero, tactician, master of arms. When I earned rank in the trenches, forged in the blood of my comrades. Spare us this drivel. Say, friend, I'm curious. What is it about that book that's captivated you so? Say... I mean, with how many people have been rude to us because of us being an elder or whatever species we are, let's say a world with only one tribe. It tells of a world united as one tribe. No discrimination, eh? A far cry from our world, then. So it's describing a better world. A utopia, perhaps. I'm something of a reader myself, but that's not like any book I've read. You know, when the late king took the throne, he was quite the idealist himself. He made grand claims about unifying the people under his rule. Never managed to do it in the end, of course. Reform takes more than high-minded, eloquent speeches. Maybe he was too blind to see that himself. Listen to you. A babe with his first sword thinking he knows better than a king. Keep your mouth shut. No one cares what you think. Ugh, nobody asked you. Something to say? Go on. I'm listening. Let's say... You know, I kind of do want to fight him. I guess we'll be a little aggressive and just see what happens. If it's a fight you want, draw your blade. 
Didn't think you'd just challenge me straight out. You've got guts for a lesser tribesman. Well, Clamar, I'll let it go this time. But only because I like your friend. Next time, keep your complaining to yourself. That's the last thing I need. Though I suppose I deserved it in part, speaking ill of the dead and all. My mouth tends to get ahead of my thoughts sometimes. Although, I'm glad a bad habit seems to have drawn us together. Oh, never got round to an introduction. I'm Stroll. Leon Stroll, son of the Count of Harlia. And you are? I mean, I, I think our name, we could probably tell him. Let's go ahead and just say I'm Levi. That's my name. I have that right? It's got a certain weight to it. For what it's worth, my title doesn't mean much. Here and now, we're peers and equals. By the skin of my teeth! Now, um, where was I? Right, as for you, fresh meat. Someone, help! Is that a, a soldier? Hey, speak to me, man. What happened? It's like I was climbing a tree, Stay. and then I fell. Oh, God. Is... Is Taboo... <sighs> He's unconscious. Not one of mine. That might be a little optimistic. Must be one of the fort's guard. Those damn vultures across the border. They must have heard about the king's death. Anyway, to the fort. Double time. I'll stay behind to uh, see to the poor bastard's wounds. You want us to go on ahead? Alone? Shouldn't we at least send a team back to ask for... I knew fear would take you at the first step. You want to turn tail? Or are you a traitor to the cause? The guard has no place for cowards. You are part of His Majesty's royal army. Swallow your fear, fight with pride, and we'll all have medals this time tomorrow. He's right. We're warriors. Up there is our first chance of glory and riches. Damned if I'm gonna waste it. Let's go. Damn it. Well, I suppose this is what we signed up for. Onward, to the fort then. Right, are we gonna get into combat for the first time? First time that we're not completely outmatched. Hey, I've got a bad feeling about this. It's hard to explain, but it's like there's a stench in the air and it's getting stronger. Hey, did something happen? Wait, it's like, yeah, I farted. Fairy, did you catch it yourself? Let's say... Let's say she's with me. I mean, this guy seems pretty chill. I don't think gaslighting him about a fairy being there is going to be the best start to our friendship. She's with me. Yes, and I have a name, by the way. It's Galica. So you did she together? hide the entire carriage right You've stayed well hidden for quite a while. Well, I didn't want anyone making a fuss. But we've got bigger problems right now. I can't shake this feeling. We gotta be careful. Agreed. I'll follow orders, but I'm not about to let this armchair general send me to my death. Let's take a moment, then head in once we're prepared. I assume you know how to use an igniter properly? I'm not so sure. He's never used one before. I mean, he's a commoner, so not much chance to. Fair enough. Well, just stay behind me and you'll be all right. I swear, I won't let you die. I'm with you. New ally, Stroll. A brave fighter trying to conceal his nobility has become your ally. Oh, this is bad. I didn't think you'd actually have to fight anyone. I just hope our contact in the fort's okay. I mean, what'd she think was gonna happen Let's when we go into battle? keep our guard up and hope we find out. Okay? Well, this is an unexpected turn of events, but don't lose sight of our mission, okay? Let's say our allies inside here. Yep. Yeah, that's my guess. Somehow we've got to find them. You're running with such purpose. What was that you were talking about? You said something about your ally? Actually. Oh, it's nothing. I was just worried about the soldiers inside. I see. Well, whatever the case, the situation concerns me too. Let's go inside. All right. I like how we're like, oh, we're so concerned about them, but it's like, yeah, we're just gonna let them go ahead and kind of handle all of the combat, and we'll just kind of go in when it's clear. Okay, 
Things aren't looking so good. Oh. Huh. Yeah, this isn't exactly what I was expecting to see. Human. Huh. Stand your ground! Charging! Bless you! We have to help the survivors! Terrific. So many dead. Oh. Rius, I hope you're safe. Hurry. There's no time to waste. If we look, we may find some that still draw breath. Oh. Alright, any survivors? I mean, it says deceased soldiers, so I'm not too optimistic about this. None of them are breathing. Dang, we're too late. But there might be others. Let's keep searching. Can I check this pile? I guess not. This is oh. bad. Get back. We've got company. What? What's the deal with this one? It feels similar to that monster from earlier. It's smaller, but is that a human too? It looks like we're going to have to fight it. Wait, if it's a human, do we even stand a chance? All the more reason we can't just let it be. Trust me, I have some history with them. What do you think? Besides, our only hope right now is to join forces and strike us one. Would you not agree? Yeah, let's agree. <laughs> I'm glad you still get your wits about you. With you here, we might just get through this. Got it? Look, we can't, we don't stand a chance against that thing if we attack it separately. We can only fight it if we work our work out work out a plan together. Take care of it, please. Understand? The two of us working as one. I'll trust your judgment on the timing of the attack. Press Y to engage in a squad battle alongside your allies. You can press Y anytime, but if you use X attacks to stun enemies first, you'll start the battle with an advantage. Stay on the offensive, but continuously attack with X to deplete the enemy's break gauge that appears next to them, eventually stunning them. Things will be fine. All right, let's try stunning it first. Oh, okay. uh, it did not turn out exactly how I hoped it would. Okay, so it is turn-based combat. If you're attacked in a dungeon, you'll be forced into a squad battle that begins on the enemy's turn, which is dangerous. So I'm learning. In squad battles, press X to attack with your equipped weapon or press Y to use skills, which consume MP. Performing an action will expend one turn icon, seen at the top of the screen. When all turn icons are consumed, the opponent's round begins. Alright, let's start with a basic melee attack. Not start burning through MP immediately. Okay. Not the best start. We'll go ahead, try out an ability, see if that helps. Mage Fire. Use this equipped igniter to deal weak magic fire damage to an enemy. Fire. Burn to us. Okay. At least we didn't die to the very first enemy. Well, I mean, I guess we did in the intro when we tried fighting that giant sandworm. We got some XP at least. We pulled through somehow. We're alive, and that's all I could ask. Let's press forward while we still can. Okay, I guess I'm just kind of giving up on checking for still breathing soldiers. Wait. Hold on. Be careful. There's another one. If it spots us, this could get nasty. Hey. We have the element of surprise. We could catch it off guard if we strike now, right? Yo. Sneak attacks on enemies. If you manage to successfully attack an enemy without being seen using X, there's a chance their entire break gauge will deplete at once for an instant stop. Okay. All right, let's give it a shot. Okay, this feels like a, a better start than the last one. When engaging in a squad battle against a stunned enemy, one party member member will perform an, ad an advantageous initial attack. In addition, enemies remain stunned at the start of battle. Be sure to take advantage of this. Okay, I think we can just do a basic attack now, and hopefully still do decent. Okay, almost got him. Let's see if there's a way... Tactics and escape. I want to be able to give my ally commands rather than just him doing his own thing. Let's do... Uh, I 
kind of want to do the opposite of let them decide. I guess we can't, like, control him ourselves. I guess we'll let him decide. I'm counting on you. But I would like to be able to control both party members. So yeah, it looks like we can't really do that at the moment. Let's go ahead and do an attack and finish up this battle. Are we at level two now? We did it. Okay. I do feel like it's kind of uncommon for an RPG to start you off at literally level one. And looks like we already have a specialization in magic. The thing is, I usually like maxing out strength because then I can just do basic attacks and still get like pretty good value out of it. I think that's what we'll put it in. Focus on that for now. I think we're in the clear. Nice. I bet we'll find a use for that. Okay, found some medicine. Uh, I actually am kind of low on health. Let's go ahead and use one of those right now. And I think strolls fine for now. Okay, I feel a little bad because I don't ex I don't exactly know if this was like a hostile enemy or if it was just a dog like wandering around and we just attacked it. I think we're in the clear. We fight it, the only like reward we get is a dog collar with like a tag on it. And you go, oh someone owned this. He's still breathing, but he's badly wounded. And Elda, don't bloody touch me. I'm in a bad enough spot without you making it worse. That monster showing up was your fault, wasn't it? Bad luck follows people. Uh, of course this is how it ends. Dang it. Dang it all to hell. I like how even in death, he's like, nah, I'm not going to learn the error of my ways. I'm still going to go down a bigot. Oh, recover from stun. Uh, make it a point to go max strength every Shin Megami Tensei game. Yeah, I, I think the same thing, because then... You don't have to use MP every time you do like an auto attack. It's like you're still making pretty good damage. Okay, so he died without learning the error of his ways. Run. You're so young. A fresh recruit? Get away from here now. That thing is up ahead. No. There's still more soldiers left alive, right? We can't just run and leave them be. You're too late. That monster. We can't just run away. Stay away from that thing. I feel like this guy, at least he's a little more, like, redeeming. He's like, you know, I, at least I can maybe save other allies from a pointless death. Darn Elda, I knew this fort was cursed. You're why that horror attacked. Hey, calm down. It's not his fault the human appeared. You must know that, surely. But everyone's dead. They all had families. Help me, Elda. I don't care anymore. I don't want to die. Damn it. Their breathing has stopped. Okay, he at least had like a little bit of a redemption at the end. Came around a little bit, but you know, a little too late. Hold on. Wait. You. You two, you're perhaps you're searching for someone. I mean, I think he. We've been through enough. I think we can trust him. Let's say that's. I get it now. I thought as much. Now it makes sense. Why hide this from me? I trust you have a good reason. Well, to tell you the truth. What? That cry, is that the human from earlier? Was that? It sounded like it came from the top of that tower. Maybe there are still soldiers fighting it there. Hurry. We'll handle a lot of personal matters later. Rescuing any survivors to take precedence. Take to the top of the tower. Let's hurry. Okay, another egg looking human. I'm hoping it will turn around in a bit, so let's just hide out for a minute. I like how uh, the first enemy we fight is basically that like little bird egg from uh, that Peanuts cartoon where it's like just the eggshell with the legs sticking out of it. Yeah, we played through the game and we realized every enemy is inspired by Charlie Brown. Okay, again, pretty close, but not quite. Okay, I guess we'll heal up our teammate after this battle. <sighs> yeah, I feel like the combat is pretty similar to the Persona the series, which, I mean, isn't a huge surprise, I guess. But I am curious if there's still, like, the extra turn, of, like, rules of the combat. 
I don't think I've hit an enemy's weakness yet. I mean, one of them got a crit on me. Oh, cool, we can actually, like, break boxes and stuff like that. Let's see what's behind here. Probably another potion. Oh, an old coin. Uh, not exactly what I'm looking for on the battlefield. Oh, I forgot that you do kind of do more combat outside of it to prepare rather than just, like, one hit. Okay, maybe maybe you didn't need to use the fire spell right then. Even easier than expected. Oh yeah, I guess that's the first time we didn't take any damage. Looks like it's not safe yet. Stay alert. Okay, let's try finding this guy. Okay. Let's give this all we've got. Yeah, I think it's interesting that there's a little bit of a like real-time combat to give you an advantage in the turn-based combat. I don't know exactly how developed that's going to get, if there's going to be a lot of, like, different abilities and stuff like that. But it's interesting that's, like, you know, a little bit more variety. Oh, okay. Actually, two enemies this time. Let's go ahead and take out the weaker one. And then I think we can just do, like, basic attacks on the second round. Yeah, that wasn't so bad. Oh, I didn't even know there was an enemy back there. Huh. Alright. I feel like our ally just really likes using fire magic. Oh, it leveled up. Nice. And yeah, let's go ahead and put that in strength. You know, I think I'm gonna do the same thing as you, Horizon, just put all my points into strength. I always go for glass cannon builds in general, so it's like endurance, it's like, why, like, it's a little bit of a formality to give me that as an option. It's like, yeah, I'm not gonna use that, I'm just gonna keep hitting everything into attack and try not to die. Hmm. The roof is just up ahead. Might I have a moment? If I'm honest, I have my doubts there could be survivors. Facing that monster together may not even save anyone at this point. He's like, just delaying it that if we went immediately we would have, but now it's like, now it's maybe too late. But I'm going to do it anyway. It's the noble thing to do. Um, Isn't that just throwing your life away? Why do this if it's possibly for nothing? I... Because if there's a chance that there's even one survivor, then I'll not be the noble who runs away. Not this time. I could never live with myself. This time? Hey. And you. You plan to forge ahead despite the risk? I take it you refuse to die until you found whoever it is you're searching for. Let's say... You know, I'll, I'll kind of be friendly with him and say, I won't let you die up That's there. That's true, but... I can't just leave you to die up there. He's like, alright, thanks. Glad to know that you're really optimistic about our odds. Huh, I'm touched. Even in a situation like this, you worry more for others than yourself. If I run now, I'll never deliver the message and the prince will die. We have no choice but to press on. I'm heading out. Well then, lend me your strength. What do you think? This feeling, I knew it. That human from earlier is up there. What should we do? Let's go ahead and save right. real fast. We can't help anyone if we just charge in and get ourselves killed. Let's make sure we're prepared before we head in. Oh yeah, we might need to heal him. Let's see, skill... Or not skill, item. Uh, I think we're both decent on health. Go ahead. I think it's up on defense? Okay, I guess I'm... This area's not safe enough to save in, so... I feel like, Ready? given the quality of life improvements yep. in the recent games, I think if we do fail at the battle, then we'll get to, like, just kind of restart from the beginning of the fight. Not have to, like, load back to our previous save and go through all of this again. Okay, odds not looking too good. I think he was right, though, that everyone's already done the work. Damn. Such tremendous power. It's horrible. I can't believe what I'm seeing. We can't let it get away with this. We have to hold it off somehow. 
damned humans. It was all because of them. We'll just have to make it work. No, the missing de the mission depends on our survival. Alright, let's take on this human. And I think start off, we'll do a basic attack, see if that happens to be his weakness. Monster. Okay, that was not his You're weakness. Alright, we'll, we'll do fire next turn if we survive that long. What's going okay. on? It didn't even flinch! Damn it all! I'm not going down like this! All right, let's try fire this time. Okay. That's like, hopefully they equipped us with the only thing that it's weak to, but I'm really doubting to see you. How is it this strong? What more can I do? The prince is my best friend. I need to save him. I can't die in a place like this. He's the he's your best friend, not the fairy that you've been with for like however long. It's the guy you met like yesterday, and yet. You two, run! But Above all else, I am a noble, and the noble defends his people, no matter the cost. Farewell. If you would repay me, then live. Forgive me. What? No! Please, say something! Stroll! Don't be a fool! Just run! For it. <sighs> oh, fate-saddled child. Oh, anguished traveler. Uh. <laughs> thy fate is crown twined, thy soul bound for the throne. The future yet unknown dawns in this moment. <laughs> thy path may fork, but only one may be chosen. Confront the threat before thee, or die here in obscurity. Now choose. I choose. <laughs> so be it. Heroism lies in the soul that stands firm against its fears. Power awaits thy command. The time is come to awaken the hero within. Engrave thy very heart. Definitely seeing the similarities to summoning your persona for the first time. Things are getting a bit cooler now, but let's go ahead and start with, I mean, it looks like we don't have any allies at the moment. Let's go ahead and do wind damage. Scour. All right. that did the trick. Okay, this is actually doing something. My own power doesn't even compare. What's more, it can use magic despite its lack of an igniter. Certain enemies are weak to certain affinities. After you've hit one of these weaknesses, the word weak will de be displayed. Hitting an opponent's weakness or scoring a critical hit against them will only decrease the turn icon by half. Looks like it made okay, so it is similar to crazy. Persona. We can target those. Let's Come see, so we can summon our, ar our archetype. Let's go ahead and Wind. do that again. That's it. Stay on it. Let's seek and yeah, I think this is going to be the way to go. Oh, we can target different parts of it. That's cool. Let's take out its legs, because that's already kind of like the weakest. Okay. 
Oh, it said Notch Blade spin? I thought it said Noticeable spin. I was like, yeah. This is gonna be an awesome game. Yeah, I'm, it definitely has potential. I felt like the beginning, like the, the world building seemed interesting, but it wasn't exactly stuff that was like super engaging. But now it's becoming a bit more engaging. So I think the feet, maybe his legs already got destroyed. Let's go ahead, defeat the wind. wind. All right, let's do that again. Scour. And I'm pretty good on MP, so I think we'll be fine. Okay. I said I... Oh, okay. I thought he was going to devour us, not the apple. What? It's healing? I take back everything I said about us being fine. It's eating its own fruit to heal? We can't kill it fast enough. It's just going to fix itself up no matter what we do. I can't believe it's... Okay, cool. I was going to say, can I just defeat the apple? I should have used the cyclone attack. All right, let's take out that apple. Oh, I guess the apple's weakness isn't fine. Isn't win. We don't take out those apple things, you know. Maybe there's something I can do. Hey, can you let me handle this? Have Galica knock down apples to keep the foe from healing. Yeah. Understood. Go for Leave it. it to me. I thought it was going to be like, he takes our turn, or like, controls us, but yeah, this just saves us a lot of time. Let's go. Okay, only thing we can target now. I thought this weakness was the win. I just kind of wish that we awakened a moment earlier before our friend died in front of us. Wind. I mean, hopefully his ghost is there. He's like, whoa, this is so awesome. I think we got him. Wait, there's XP and then A XP? Okay. Oh, I guess A XP is archetype XP. And let's go ahead and do more strength. True power is born of the heart. A wish from which thy strength is drawn. Yet fear and anxiety always trail in such a wish's wake. Since time immemorial, those we call heroes have earned the title through this order. They pursued their wishes and boldly walked a path of virtue. What thou hast awakened is the true spirit of a hero. The power that lies dormant in all of us. The power to reforge the fear of the unknown into curiosity. If thou wouldst change the world by thine own hand, take this newfound power and venture forth. Thy journey shalt reveal thy soul's mission. What was that voice? And you! What was that power you used? You had a metal heart, and your whole body was... It was crazy! <sighs> oh, he's alive! Look, that stroll guy is still alive! I'll be damned. Someone actually survived. Was that he voice? just hiding the whole time? Grius! Oh, thank goodness, you're alive! Gallica, you made it. He's our man on the inside. The one I'm delivering the message to. He's badly hurt. You, boy, lend me your shoulder. We'll need to carry it. The smell of blood will draw out the beasts. Let's not hang about. The lad's out cold, but he'll live. We should be fine if we take a moment's rest here. Oh, you're a sight for sore eyes, Grius. Just wish it were under better circumstances. We're both alive. 
And you can't ask for much better in these parts. Sorry I couldn't join you in the fray. So, this is our newcomer, eh? How'd this boy manage to command power like that? It's like nothing I've ever seen. Do you know anything about it? I might. For now, the mission comes first. Ah, right. I'd better just get straight to the message. Grius, you have a new mission. Avenge the king. And kill Lee Squeaburn. Well, good. It's about damn time. Those scheming nobles haven't said so publicly, but every soldier knows it was nothing natural that killed the king. Damn that, Luis. Couldn't stop at one royal, could he? Wait, there's more. The prince is getting worse. We're running out of time. Here, look. I brought a treasure from the village. They called it a farsight mirror. You need to see the prince's condition for yourself. Huh. Through the mirror lies the prince, deep in a slumber in the hidden village. We're basically just His facetiming with the sick guy. Those thorns are thick enough to claim him. Louise cast the curse, so killing him is the only way to lift it. If we wait any longer, they're just gonna crown a new king. I'm kind of curious about killing him, but I do feel like I could also use some catching up. Can someone catch me up here? About 15 years ago, a child enlisted in the army. But it wasn't his age that had people talking. It was his ruthless military genius. Hero to some, monster to others. Luis Kiaburn, a prodigal tactician and a master of magla arts. Some said it was only a matter of time before he made general. The youngest the nations had. Until he attacked the prince. That night, when the prince's quarters were breached, it was no ordinary mage who cast that fatal curse. It was Luis Guiaburn himself. But the son's death wasn't enough for him. Now he's got the father's blood on his hands. And if that king-slaying fiend ends up on the throne, we're all doomed. But when we were exploring the royal capital, there were a lot more Luis supporters than I expected. How can they still trust him after all that? Luis is cunning. He left no evidence. Accuse him as you will, and the allegations wouldn't stick. All they could do was send him as far away as possible. A post in the middle of nowhere. Plenty of soldiers never believed the charges in the first place. When they look at him, they see a capable veteran unjustly made into the noble scapegoat. Most think the royal army was at its best when he was in charge. And in truth, it's hard to deny. Without him, we'd never have crushed the rebel uprising so quickly. Damn the man. But he's earned his titles. He's mastered the blade, magic, and he's clearly intelligent. To the masses who want change, he seems the savior they need. If even you're that worried about him, then this isn't going to be easy. That's a hell of a mission. And I want in. So that's your game, eh? Pretend to sleep, eavesdrop on the plan. You're a fool to give yourself away. If you want my blood, he just sits you down and pretends to be asleep true. again. I'm not going to run. Not from you, and not from a chance to do what's right. Look, Grius, he saved our lives back there. And it sounds like we could use the help. Seems like kind of a waste to kill him. Especially if he's volunteering. <sighs> then answer me this. The boy's all but a stranger to you. Yet you risk your life to save him. Why? I would live, fight, and die a noble, sir. To have done otherwise would betray my title, to say nothing of my heart. Uh, I'm losing my edge. Make me regret this, and I will slay you where you stand. You'll let him help us? Right then. My life and sword are yours. As far as the rest of the world's concerned, you perished in that castle. You'll find the job ahead will be easier for a dead man. Your lives are kept only by the blades in your hands. And you'll raise them at my command. We have to. 
Save the prince from death's curse. Save the prince from his curse and defeat Louise Guillermo, the treasonous fiend who not only attacked the prince, but murdered the king. Okay, rank? That's not maxed out. That's not the hardest quest you can take on. Louise will also be at the royal funeral. If we are not back to the capital by then, we will lose our chance at his head. But no main roads. That'll mean checkpoints and questions. We are bound for a different route. We'll cut through the abandoned mine up ahead to save us going the long way round. For tonight, see to your wounds. We'll leave at first light. But I'm counting on you. New ally. Grius, the battle-hardened veteran, has become your ally. Feels like the mission is finally starting. Let's set up our camp then. Now, we should finally be able to get some rest. This your first deployment, boy. Thank your lucky stars you survived a brush with a human. What the hell was that? It was like no beast I've ever seen. No one truly knows. They're protected by Magla, so even the sharpest steel does little good against them. They're no simple beast. All we do know is with every passing year, more of their kind tear travelers apart. That was why I was first sent undercover here, investigating. And? Did you learn anything? Simmer down, boy. There wasn't a damn thing to be found in those monsters. Ah. <sighs> well, the moon's still low. If you've any other questions, now's the time. I've got a couple. Say, tell me I more about the mission. I want to hear about the mission. With numbers like this, a head on assault would be suicide. Quick, covert assassinations are best bet. Kingslayer or no, Luis has a lot of public favor behind him. To the people, he's the only man with the wit and war power to bring down humans. The military seems powerless to stop them, so he plays savior. The man's practically a monster himself. By your age, he was not only a master tactician, but damn near an archmage besides. And the three of us alone are supposed to stop him? We'll just have to blend in with the crowd at the funeral. I won't abide him surviving the ceremony. He will die by my hand. I feel like we're gonna lose Koreas. A fire should keep the really dangerous stuff away, I hope. Okay. I feel like this is a good point. Let's go ahead and save, and then we'll wrap up the live stream for today. Alright. So we saved... And I feel like so far we've covered a decent amount, but let's go ahead and get on the first project so far. So, yeah, Metaphor Refantasio, new game from the creators of Persona. Definitely been interested in what it is and what it's about, but going into this pretty blind. So far, you know, I feel like it's, I'm still in the dark on a lot of things about how stuff works, what's going on with the world. So it's hard to be confidently sure that this is like going to be solid and everything like that. and But so far, I feel like there are interesting threads and premises. It does feel pretty similar to Persona. It's not something that's like a completely different direction in terms of the gameplay and the systems in the game. It is a very different setting, which I think kind of helps add this unknown mis mystery to it, that unraveling it so far, like, you know, you start off completely in the dark of what even is our mission, what's going on, why is everyone so mean to me just because of me being an Elda or whatever that is? But a lot of those, there's still some unknowns, but kind of like getting glimpses of the world, the way magic works, that we're fighting humans, but there are these weird creatures and just kind of like the lore around it in general, especially the reveal of the archetype that we have that we can kind of summon or turn into similar to Persona. I think there's definitely a lot of potential here. I'm looking forward to playing more of it getting a more comprehensive understanding of what's going on, what are we doing, how does everything work. And so I feel like there's definitely potential looking forward to the full release. And I don't know how much longer the demo is. I do feel like we kind of covered most of everything. It is the prologue demo, so I don't imagine it's going to be too long. But I feel like we it does give us a good glimpse of the combat, the story, the world, and gives us a little bit of a taste and a little bit of an idea of what's going on, but still leaves us wanting more. So really looking forward to the full game, full release of the game on October 11th. And I will pretty likely be making more content about this. I mean, I did Persona for Gold in real time. That's like my main 
If you recognize me, if you're watching this now, that's probably where you came from. And with this, this seems like a good opportunity that I'm interested in myself. And so can definitely see there being a lot of potential to make content about it for other people. And if you have any ideas or any thing that you would like to see about this game, feel free to let me know. I'm open to ideas and we'll just see how it goes. But for now, I think this has some interesting premises and we'll have to see how it goes. But with the people behind Persona working on this, I feel, you know, I'm, I don't want to get too ahead of myself and be like, oh, this is going to be amazing, even though I've only played about an hour and a half of it so far. But I feel like it'll probably be good. We'll just have to see how good it is. But that's going to wrap it up for now. Thanks for watching. And if you're still here, I truly appreciate it. Doing the live streaming on YouTube, that's something that I want to do more of and be more consistent with. But we'll have to see how it goes. And yeah, you know, kind of balance live streaming and making edited pre-recorded content. But for now, glad that you could watch this and get a little bit of a glimpse of the game from the very beginning. So I'll wrap it up here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.